about what happened at Volkswagen, emissions gate. They're going to cheat the test. Why is this a good idea? Well, because when you spend long enough in a car manufacturing company, they get up in the morning, they make cars, they go to bed, repeat. So when these pesky regulators come along saying, well, your car can't emit more than this month nitrous oxide, and it can't be more than this and less than this, you start seeing the regulator as the enemy. You start making little dartboards at the faces of regulators saying, uh, at 5 o'clock on a Friday, throwing darts into their faces. So now you're trying to beat the regulator. With your own interest in mind, we make cars, we make the best cars. For who? For what? And maybe you believe that you make the best cars and you're not, you're not so concerned about profits. You know, you're some sort of middle level engineer or whatever. But in the process of doing so, you make cars that spew out quite a lot of nitrous oxide. It's pesky regulars. We don't want to We know what's going on. We're, we're the team. Mm, how'd that go? They're defending their company and their product. It's, it, it's their team. It's their football team. They got like they got a Volkswagen T-shirt. No, 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 no. I mean, present is like it is their team. It's their family. It's their life. They're part of the Volkswagen. Many companies use it. Be part of be part of the Volkswagen family. Part of the GCHQ family. You know, the family. <laughs> but they will say this to you. Be part of the some the Facebook family, the Google family. God, with, with family like that. <laughs> It's okay to break the rules because the police know about it. Define okay. I mean, you know, drug cartels and corruption in Mexico, the police know about it, right? It doesn't necessarily justify it. Where do I go personally, or where does one go as a mathematician working there? Where do I go personally is, is, is out the door if the kids are the shins on the way out. Also, just to stand as a side, these things don't happen immediately it's going to be on a large scale, they build up. So Volkswagen had a little thing on the engine and then they realised, oh, we, we can use this to, to tweak the engine slightly. And then we'll tweak it a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. It built up over, over the course of several years until it was this giant, complicated, amazing system of, of, of like it really was ingenious. On a technical level, it was like, wow, that was, that was really awesome. You're a bunch of pricks, but that was really awesome. To add insult to injury, of course, all the companies, all the automobile companies are doing it. Some of them do it really stupidly. Yeah, they got caught earlier. Some of them are doing it quite well. So, so these... Some of them are doing it brilliantly, and we don't know if the MW was who hasn't been caught. Because they're doing it so well. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Fiat, Fiat did it, the Italians. Oh, God bless the Italians. So, 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 so the Germans have this crazy system, you know, staying between, you know, you, you've got these sort of, you know, output curves, and you've got to make sure the engine behaviour stays in these curves, you've got some timing things and some, and some temperature things. Like, they were measuring, you know, the angle was everything. It was really clever. To make sure that the car stayed in emissions testing mode when it should, but broke out when it shouldn't. What did the Italians do? Well, when T is greater than 16,000 seconds, or thereabouts, 16,100, I think it was, exit emissions testing mode. <laughs> <laughs> because the longest test. In any jurisdiction, any place where they sold their car, it was 16,400 seconds. They got caught within 16,401 seconds, basically. <laughs> so, in a sense,
Testing went on, testing went on. So, in a sense, the, 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 the boat engineers in, 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 in Italy, because they spent half a day at lunch, had a quick solution which didn't work very well. They got caught. The very efficient, some description, clever engineers in, in Germany, well, they put their heart and soul into it, they didn't call for ages. Meanwhile, a large amount of nitrous oxide is spewing out around the world. So that's what I mean by, if you don't do it, someone else might, but they might be dumber than you. And you end up with the, the T equals 16,400. Yes, we tried to solve it, uh, we spent too much time on lunch, sorry. And that happens. And so actually, it becomes as effective. So, so you want to sort of try and hide a little thing. I mean, that might work for a little while, but they'll probably eventually figure it out. Um, to, just back to your question of, 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 of you know, what would you do if the regulator goes and knows about it. Well, that's sort of saying that, that everyone's in on the gig. Actually, I mean, if, you go, if you come into this company as, as a grad student, you walk into Volkswagen, it's a big company. And everyone's, everyone's doing it. Everyone around you. You think, well, you can stand up to the entire company. They're not even, they're not even saying it like it's a, hey, we're changing the business test. Shh, you don't tell you. <laughs> no, they've got t shirts, basically. <laughs> hey, I'm the business teacher. This is cheap, can I, can I help you today? That would be the level of, 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 of brazenness. How well do you think you'd do in that scenario? But people are just treat, treating emissions testing like you know, going for a pee. That's what we do every day. How far do you think you'd get there? What do you think would happen? In the banking world, you are rewarded by going against the regulators, at least until recently. Maybe it's changed now. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it has. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to that! <laughs> Actually, your, your bonus will be £500,000 if you obey the rules, and £3.2 million if you have disobeyed the rules. I mean, it's that's not really just teamwork. That's, 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 I mean, excess reward. You're drowning in money. But I want to focus on, 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 on the team aspect for, for because we are the study you know, for money at people. Okay. But what would it feel like? If you're in this scenario of people around you doing this second nature, you can be influenced by soft pressure. No one actually says, we should do this, they just do it around you, I'm influenced by it. Who's heard of the Ash Conformity Test? Okay. <coughs> so, what it is, the typical one, so by, by Ash, I think in the 70s, you get Six people to come into a room, they sit down, and they're shown some multiple choice questions. And they each have to answer what they think the correct answer is. And one of the questions is, which of these lines is equal in length? To the test line. A, B, or C. Okay, easy enough question. What happens? You've got six people, they're rigged, except for one. Fifth person, actually. First person, what's the answer? A. Second person, what's the answer? A. Third person, what's the answer? A. A. Go to the fifth person, what's the answer? A. A. And of course, you don't start with the dodgy question, you start with things like, you know, what's, you know, four times two. Six, eight, ten. So you start with like some, some, some questions of sorts of things, and then you start throwing in things like this. What do you think happens when people do this? What do you think they say? They can they conform. I didn't believe this. I was like 
that's kind of true. And a friend of mine who's a psychologist, he said that I do this in, in, in psychology class at the university. They get the random volunteer, and they say, and a, a bunch of Greek volunteers, and they say, what color is this piece of paper? Well, it's blue, obviously. And so, yeah, blue, 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 blue. And a lot of the time, the person says, yeah, it's blue. People conform. And I said, well, no, no, this, this surely can't happen. I, I, I don't believe it. I'm going to try. So I got six mathematicians, five of whom are and one of whom is here with us today. Randomly chosen volunteer, and we have one first rate mathematician who can add, subtract, multiply, and divide better than 99.99% of the population. And it can count. Pretty sure it can count. So there are a sequence of questions. Uh, the first one was factorized 93. That right? The second one was which is no, the second one. The third one was which is larger, four to the five or five to the four. The fourth one was the line test, and the fifth one was what color is is the car. <laughs> also about the third question. So the fifth one, what color is the car? I guess it's stupid. Fourth one, line. Uh, but the second question, second question was the important one. So of these, how many squares do you see? How many squares? And so it looks like this. Um, and sort of there, it is supposed to be roughly to... So all the edge lengths are like x or 2x, right? That makes sense? So we're angles. So how many squares do you see? 11, 12, 13, 14. Anyone know the answers? Please don't fuck it up. <laughs> So let me tell you how I ran the test. First person, how many squares do you see? 12. Second person, how many squares do you see? 12. Third person, how many squares do you see? 12. Fourth person, 12. Fifth person, 12. Sixth person, 12. So we finished running the, the, the whole sort of thing. And by the end, we realized, okay, this is just getting stupid, right? This is not blue. Some people will fall for blue, but Mathematicians, no, 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 you can't trick a mathematician. <laughs> the mathematics is so pure and absolute that you know, there's no way that we could trick you into thinking something that isn't true. Like, there's no way I could trick someone into counting 12 squares when they're 11. So, what happens was we started looking for the 12 squares. The answer I got was 12. And it wasn't until I'd stripped away the rest of the test and said, here's a piece of chalk, can you please describe the 12 squares to me? <laughs> there you go, well, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2. <laughs> <laughs> the square just magically disappeared. Poof! Right. It was never there. If I can make a mathematician see things that aren't there, using the most elementary of techniques, seriously, piece of cardboard photocopied it. All of a sudden, your absolute knowledge of mathematics just, just evaporated. And I claim that this would happen to anyone. Randomly chosen mathematician could happen to anyone. Will happen to many of you. You walk into somewhere, everyone else is agreeing, no one said you should choose 12. No one. So what's the answer? 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Took a little bit longer to think about it, but still. No, this is soft pressure. This can really get to you. Because I laid it out, so there were PhD students and postdocs there. You want to go up against PhD students and postdocs? On a technical issue? Or are you going to sit there and go, uh, 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 yeah, of course it's tall. Like when your supervisor says, and it's obvious that this group is a Yeah! Yeah! What does he mean? I don't know, we should look it up, shouldn't we? Yeah! <laughs> Obvious! <laughs> Duh! And then sometimes I'll come 
back very meekly and say, uh, uh, Professor, Doctor, uh, Sir, um, I, I don't think this is a beer that turns out it's not. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks for four days, and the best they enumerate all possible proofs at <laughs> some certain length, and then realize, okay, this is not actually true. But you'll question yourself a thousand times. <laughs> if Timmy Gower says something to you about, about you know, a graph, and you think he's made a mistake, <laughs> Please! <laughs> Tell us Sir Timothy Gower's FRS kills me. Is he an FRS? Probably. Yes, yes. He kills me. Tell him that he's wrong. In a room of other competent tourists, you're all sitting there going, yeah, 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 yeah. You're not going to do it. You're going to say, oh, of course, yeah, do really. You might think about it afterwards, or you might just say, yeah, this is probably true. Yeah, it's probably possible. Awesome. I counted enough, it's just close enough, yes. If I can get you to count 12 when there's 11, I deliberately put it so that you, know, you have to find a square, because if you miss a square, you can kind of see that. But if you count it, it's not there. If I can get you to, 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 to read the story in your mathematics, this is not a subjective thing. This is how many squares? Mathematical problem. It's one of these. <laughs> And if I get you to say that the divergence of B is non zero, here's non physics. <laughs> okay, so if I get you to say that the divergence of B is non zero, the divergence of B is, is, is zero, like the, the universe would fall apart if it was non zero. Yeah? If I get you to say that the divergence of B is non zero, then there are 12 squares and 11, what the hell can a large company do with possibly a small army of. of, of um, of psychologists and a small contingent of psychopaths. <laughs>